Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's come time, I'm afraid. I was hoping it didn't come down to this, but I uh, did a yank the flooring out of the van. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we've had, uh, we up at camp and picked up a, uh, it was clearing trees and brush and we seemed to have picked up a bunch of fleas, whatever. Haven't been able to get rid of them. That carpet I put in there has been in there for over three years. It hasn't been a problem. I like it. Uh, some folks have commented they, they didn't like it from the start. Other people loved it. Said, hey, that's great in there. And for three years it has been. Uh, but now that we picked up fleas and they've been persistent and uh, we've sprayed and vacuumed and um, fogged it and nothing. Not, it's fogged it twice now. We was up at camp. Uh, let's go over. I don't even want to go in it. <laughs> I don't even want to move it, but I need to take it over. I need to put it over here, get some stuff out of it, and yank that carpet out of there. I don't even want to go in it. We went through over a week of, you know, doing the vacuuming thing and other sprays and trying and uh, thought we had it. Like one of those electric with the sticky pad and the light and everything. We almost had it licked. And uh, there was still a couple, and I thought, well, I'm gonna go, heck with it, I'm gonna go ahead and fog it, right? Uh, I'm gonna close this door. I'm gonna get away from it. Um, I thought the heck with it. So we fogged it, and uh, for the, kept it closed up for the amount of time, aired it out for the amount of time it set on the directions. And everything. Then we went to camp, or up to uh, the campground, and the coachman for, for like four days, and come back, like, okay, it was all, all bombed it you know fogged it out we'll go back and it'll be all solved we'll be ready to go and uh and no we come back and i open the doors ready to put stuff back in it and uh and they're jumping on my arms and stuff because i you know open the doors and i just put my hands in on the carpet on the floor and uh they're jumping on my arms and everything i was like you gotta be kidding me oh what was that see now i'm all <laughs> um nothing i guess uh a hair on my arm moved and i you know now i'm freaked out about it so we come back from camp i thought you gotta be kidding me okay we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and bomb it a second time there's you know three cans in a pack so bombed it a second time i thought all right well we've gotten them this time right um 24 48 hours or a little bit more now uh they're still they're, they're still just as i i don't want to go in i just checked it again um, two bombings and they're still persistent so uh, we are not gonna win this battle I think until we get rid of that carpet I think I'm okay up front for all the further I gotta move this <laughs> and then I'll come out and I'll be checking myself and everything but uh, it's time to rip it out and oh well so flooring options I gotta move the car first uh, flooring options uh, Oh, and I know a lot of you have said, let me, let me, for the record, a lot of you have said, get that carpet out of there. That's the culprit and everything. And I was, I know, I've known it all along. I just kept my mouth shut. I was hoping it didn't come down to this because, like I say, for over three years, it's been fine. But I knew, um, this very first video, when I first treated it with that, whatever that sp uh, one spray thing was, I knew right then and there that I'll, I'll, I can never feel good about that carpet again. You know, I like to sit on it and uh, you know, once you spray chemicals on it and you know, there's like fleas or dead fleas or flea eggs in that carpet and chemical and you, know, you can shot vacuum all you want, but it's still, you know, the carpet's not just carpet anymore. It's become something more, uh, you know, with the chemicals like down in it. And, uh, and then as uh, we treat it again and again, it's like, yeah, you know what, that, that carpet's going to come out. I just... Uh, I, I just don't like the idea of that chemicals down in there and the death <laughs> down in it. So I've known, and then, uh, but, I, but I was hoping maybe we'll get away with it for a little while longer. I'll, I'll get to it. But, um, but no, it's become, if I want to use the van, period, you know, they've moved it. They've taken the place over. If I want to use the van, period, that rug's got to come out. It's got to come out now. Or the, the, or the van just remains parked in, until then. So we're, the, the van's at a standstill until I do this. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've known it and I grumbled about it, but knew it was coming. And, and, and knew that was ideal, I guess, for them. Can't get it out of that deep. It's the more expensive thick, inch and three eighths thick. Um, 
yeah, it was a little pricey, uh, that big stretch I bought. Uh, anyway, let me get some things moved around. I'm not quite sure how to go about this all of a sudden because I was going to save the last can of uh, that fogging stuff for once I got the carpet out and uh, get it all swept out and vacuumed out and blowed out with the air compressor as best I can. I was going to close it all up and fog it again. Um, and then hopefully we'd be done. But maybe I should just go ahead and get it. Maybe I should go ahead and fog it. Um, that way the adult fleas that are in there now would die. Because I don't want to be handling that carpet when fleas jump it all over me. All right, so should I fog it? And then I can work on it and this evening and get the carpet out without them jumping on me. Hurry up, get it done before the next, you know, tomorrow's adults, you know, come along before the eggs hatch for tomorrow. Um, I don't want to be working on it with fleas jumping on me. So I might go ahead and use that last can, fog it, and then get the carpet out, get it disposed of. Uh, uh, and then just have to buy more more fogger because I still want to fog it again after that carpet's out of there. So if any are trapped under it or down on the floor or around the nooks and crannies anywhere, you know, it'll it'll get to those too. So I see kind of a little bit of a predicament in it. What what nasty, nasty insects those are. <sighs> okay, hot shot. Hot shot brand. I'm gonna uh <laughs> definitely get these don't get these uh oops that's all right you can go, just go down there so can you uh that's it let's uh set this last one off ready all right all right where you go the ceiling fan uh, better be off okay it is i don't want it I'm just drawing it out and that is big enough for an area uh i calculated it one of them cans let me make sure the windows all the way up that's uh one of those cans is big enough to do an area six times the size of the van the area of the van so that's a pretty fair size room i guess six times this is roughly uh six by six by you know 12 area so um okay windows up oh, hopefully that'll let me let me get in there later on so gotta reread the directions i don't know if it said let it how long to let it go for an hour or two hours i know it says to let it air out for two hours but uh it'll probably be it'll probably be, probably be dark by the time i <laughs> maybe out here this evening doing it or first thing in the morning but the clock will be ticking until the next batch of um till the next batch of uh, eggs hatch right i'll have to get to it well it's been two hours <laughs> i haven't even looked at my phone uh how do i know it's been two hours because that's about how long it takes me to mow all this back so <laughs> just got done mowing and you know what i think we might just instead of airing it out we just let these be closed up overnight you know uh, air it out first thing in the morning and then get busy get all the refrigerator and just all the stuff uh, out of it get that carpet yanked out yep leave it in there all night good morning van well how do you think things went last night think we can work on this thing today something uh tell me what happened last night uh <laughs> that hot shot brand fogger is junk and don't work i come out here last night uh about four hours after i uh originally set the fogger off remember i went down and mowed a couple hours and then uh, i went back in the coachman and i started looking at flooring options i thought maybe for now i'll get that carpet out of there and um there's Lu luann plywood underneath of it i thought maybe just for now i'll paint that that wood and until i figure out what flooring i'm gonna use whether i might get a real short i'm like um yeah it's not, i don't even think it's a quarter inch thick a real thin carpet or i just don't care for hard floors or i was just maybe thinking maybe i'll just pick up an area rug a little three by five or four by six area rug for at least right inside there 
something that's like I can pull it out and vacuum it or wash it or whatever and put back in. Uh, so I thought I'm gonna get online and see what the, like Lowe's and Home Depot, this kind of Walmart, uh, Amazon had. But I thought uh, I'm gonna come out here with the tape measure real quick and just see this area. Is it four by six work okay? Um, so I come out here now. Keep in mind it's four hours after I set the bomb off. Yeah, it was about 11, 11.30 I come out here. And I grab my tape measure, and fleas are jumping all over me. I'm like, wait, I just bombed it again, okay? We've had a total of three bombs in here. That stuff, ain't, that stuff don't work. That, don't buy it. Don't waste your time with that. Um, so anyway, quickly, I jumped back. I went in the garage, and I got um, that electric flea beacon that has the adhesive thing in it, okay? Um, and I flipped it over and, and peeled the back off, you know, used a brand new one and look how many fleas this caught last night. Um, you know, after four hours after the fogger went off, you would think that was it. They were done or at least knocked down for, well, no, that many was still, is that, is that crazy? Now, actually, I think of been the closest to winning this battle after using this for a few days um let me see is that one did one get on me yep there's one just jumped off um i think i'm just gonna have to tough through this uh that's probably helped i'm sure still um for now getting most of the adults probably still a few here that haven't jumped in there and then again tomorrow you know probably more um, eggs will hatch <laughs> uh you know what? I'm just going to start ripping and tearing. Uh, I need to get this out of here. And, uh, wow. I just don't know what else to say about it. It's just mind-blowing. Maybe it's a little better this morning after running that sticky electric thing. I mean, only one jumped on me, not five. I just, this is just so gross. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to get this carpet out of here. I only got, you can see the wrinkles, and I'm kind of yanking it back out. It looks like it will slide, you know, there's some weight from the table and stuff on it. Looks like I'm going to be able to slide that out from underneath those legs without having to disassemble this. And, um, and the legs, the bed legs too, I was able to get it out of that one and out of that one. So I think I can get, you know, it pulled out. Enough and kind of give it a roll or two and then pull this a little bit out and just get it out of here so that'd be so much better than having to take the bed all apart and everything i got a big garbage bag i'm gonna bag all this stuff up and i close it up tight and then it'll go to the laundromat Whew. it's warming up already this morning i think i just about got it <laughs> uh yeah just about just about just about Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Come on. A little bit. Yeah, it's pretty thick stuff. Come on. I first put this in over three years ago. I think I'm sure if you remember. It was March 2021. And, uh, it went real, cut it all out real nice. Uh, Bella seemed to really like it at the time, and and I've enjoyed it. I really like it. I hate to, I hate to get rid of it, but um, it's become a problem. Over three years with no problem until this event with these fleas. Uh, that's how, that's how what a nuisance they are. They make this have to happen over some dang insects. Otherwise, I'd go on happily with this. I, I, I've liked, I've really enjoyed this. Uh, but uh, it's time to go. And all you that uh, never liked this stuff from day one, are you happy now? <laughs> well, not too bad here. I know we've had a couple of spills. We probably went through, nothing bad. A little there, a little there. Uh, mainly just a little bit of water. One time a little bit of coffee. Probably stepped all the way down through that. Carpet house does have uh, a hole in it every so often, a pattern of it. I think we had something going on way, way in the back. Hmm. Wonder what I had back there. Uh, I know probably that one. I had that one water jug back there that leaked for a while. 
Yeah. So, oh, and these screw heads. Some screw heads are sticking up for some reason. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Now what? What kind of flooring? I'm not a fan of hardwood or uh, any kind of hard surface because well, it's just not as comfortable as cloth. I mean, and it's the van. I do, you know, sit down here sometimes and whether have my feet out, whether I'm just hanging out or, or sitting here doing something. I do sit on the floor often. So I'm not a fan of just sitting on a hard floor. I do like something cloth or some kind of fabric, a short, uh, even a very short. Some of you know what I'm talking about, that real short outdoor like porch carpet i mean it's like not not even a quarter inch thick that might go in here the trouble is i thought if i do that i could use that old carpet like as a template but i'm thinking i don't want to get that carpet close to anything it's it's gonna go just go away i don't want eggs or anything transferring over we're still gonna take that chance so i'll have to start from scratch and recut uh, if i go that route or there is like that real thin tongue and groove stuff um I could do like a hardwood floor, uh, you know, imitation, fake hardwood floor. It's real thin. It's easy to assemble. I used it in my uh, travel trailer when I repaired the master bedroom. Uh, the floor had a water leak. I repaired that. I could do that and then still put a sectional up, uh, you know, a uh, area rug in. Uh, the thing with hardwood is anything you're storing has to be bungeed or net, you know, use a net or something because it, it just wants to slide around while you're traveling, you know. And uh, another reason why I like carpet is stuff stays put. You just put it in and away you go. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to end up doing here. Just rolling some ideas around, uh, share my thoughts on that. So any ideas? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, hardwood is supposed to be, you know, easier to sweep out and stuff. My travel trailer had it. Never cared for it. Um, everything, all my motorhomes, the Tioga, the Bounder, and the uh, Coachman have all had carpet. I much more prefer the fill carpet. Uh, somebody had said, I remember when I did this. Because that was over three years ago now. Somebody had said, and I forgot about it, never did it, said I should drill, get a hole saw, and drill a bunch of holes in here for ventilation so that the bottom... Uh, so moisture, so it's ventilated, so this doesn't get uh, mildewy. Well, I mean, three years later, and it's fine. It's it's fine. I don't know uh, why that would be necessary, but it doesn't seem to be. See, it's all good. You know, some kind of little particle there, some little chip off the wood or something. But there's no mildew or anything. So yeah. Yeah, I'll clean that out some more, shot back, it, blow it out, and shot back the corners and, you know, all the edges uh, around everywhere. And I do have another can of uh, a new product coming. Well, I don't know how new of a product, it's new to me. Uh, it was something that was recommended in the comment section. So many of you commented on different products or different things I should do, or there's so many of them um, in there. A lot of you experience this sort of thing and what's worked for you, uh, including... Uh, about Bella, I, I did order her, she has a better, I forget what it's called now, um, one of those better flea collars for her, so on top of her shampoos and uh, other flea treatments, uh, that flea collar, I forget, it starts with an S, S-E-R, Sorrento or something like that, Sorrento or, you know, something like that, <laughs> so one of those are coming, uh, and uh oh that product that can stuff oh i forget what it's called too uh but some somebody that's in the uh pest extermination uh field uh recommended that say you just all you need is a can of this well i was like i don't know 12 or 14 so maybe a 16 ounce can of uh, aerosol can i guess it's uh, a product like what the pros use it was like 26 dollars for the can but uh uh you know right into it and it seems like oh boy that'd be might be the stuff to use too um kills uh of course kills fleas and stuff but um also prevents reinfestations and you know up to seven months and all these claims and so i i just went with it uh coming from somebody that's in the field uh, a lot of other products and methods that uh, people's had luck with uh, obviously i can't try them all i'd have a 
a biohazard on my hands here if I put it. Used everything, uh, so anyway, I had to make a decision on you know what, what to do going forward here. So I've uh, done that, uh, ordered that. That'll be here soon. So now what? Um, should I go on the lows and I don't know. Maybe I just let it air out. Maybe I will just blow it out some more and like I say, vacuum the corners and just let it be open for the day. Maybe that that nest. You know, in that carpet back there. Just, now that it's out, maybe finally the van will be free. <laughs> I hope so. Let's knock on wood, huh? Yes. You know where that saying comes from? Some, I forget what, you know, tribe or or group or cult. <laughs> it's a cult. Um, I think it was back just in this, like, 1500s or something. Some group thought that, like, spirits resided in trees. So to like release the spirits, whatever they go. <laughs> I can Google it where that comes from. Something, something like that. All right, now what? Hmm. <sighs> so yeah, there's all this mess. Uh, bagged up most of it. That's got a little on your mat. Them two big pillows. I'll just have to be. I need. I can jam them in a second big bag. I think that was the last one though. They, the bedding, I don't know why, you know, the bedding never seemed, I could mess around back there in the bed and get away from them. They not, I never had one jump on me if I got through the first part and got up in a bed. Uh, it's just right inside that door in the carpet. So none of this, even taking it out, not a single one, you know, jumped on me or got on me. No, no, no signs of any fleas or eggs or anything. Uh, I don't know why they, I mean, this all was recently washed. So maybe that's why they weren't interested in it. It, it, it just you know the problem was definitely on the floor right there it was just ridiculous put my put my hand in here and they're jumping on me and stuff so but not not up here so you know and just to see i've been up here for just reasons of investigating looking for the critters and stuff and it just don't seem to be up here but you know it was washed and now that i've bombed a couple of times now it's got chemical in it so i want to go wash them again and, uh, and just in case any art did get in there that I just didn't see, you know, that, that process will be, I'm going to check that off. So, uh, I think I'm going to pause for a bit here. Think about this. And yes, I overlooked a couple of items. I need to get a bag or box or something, take all that stuff in the coachman, you know, wash all the knives and, uh, discard that paper plate that's hiding under there. And, then, uh, yeah, just get these last few things out of there and uh, taken care of as necessary. I think the paper tiles are okay. Maybe the first one or two might need uh, discarded. <laughs> but once you get under that, we'll be probably all right. So with that new product, whatever it is it's called, um, you know, after I have have this all swept and blown out and everything good, clean to my satisfaction, I want to go ahead and treat it, you know, around at least around like all the corners before I put flooring down. Just as a preventative measure, it's, uh, never know. Maybe there's some little eggs or something hiding around in corners and, I, I doubt maybe uh, I, I'm pretty sure they're all in the carpet uh, but just in case spray the perimeter in here and uh, you know there's protection for up to how many months and uh, I think just a safe safe move to make all right got my Amazon delivery uh, it is pre-core 2000 plus uh, there's uh, what was recommended was the pre-core 2526 I believe which has had a, a wider range of uh, pests, I guess. But when it came to uh, fleas and ticks, they, they both uh, do the same thing. Um, yeah, garages, homes, hospitals, hotels, kennels, motels, offices, schools, supermarkets, transportation equipment, warehouses, utilities, veterinary clinics, and other commercial and industrial buildings. So it's like the professional grade. So I'm gonna go around and spray the perimeters with this here stuff, and uh, I did get to read it. The it says read the uh, instruction label completely, uh, which I did. So I'll follow as directed and uh, take necessary precautions and everything. Uh, but I'm really just gonna spray around the perimeter. Um, you know, it's not doing a full treatment. I'm pretty sure we're all rid of them. Uh, you know, they're all gone. It's gonna be a little preventive stuff just around the corners a little bit. Not gonna go crazy with this like it was a full treatment uh some other things come from the coachman and do an oil change on the coachman's in 
so that's gonna be it for the van for now uh i got something i got some figuring to do what i'm gonna do next with it what i'm gonna put in it and uh then well we'll always do in the next video when i maybe get something figured out all right thanks for coming along today i'll see you next time <music>